Thanks for joining our Tuesday night broadcast of the NBA on 2K Sports. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. It'll be the visiting team and the Phoenix Suns. So Phoenix will get the first possession. Now the starting group for the visitors. Ayton dishes to Crowder. Buries the long-range jumper. Crowder's got the first basket of the game for Phoenix. Well, so quick off the pass. I mean, Crowder timing that shot perfectly, staying one step ahead of the defense. Got a piece of it. That's tipped. Ayton finds Paul. Booker outside. And the dunk by Booker. Bell make the right play at the rim. Devin Booker sees an opportunity and doesn't hesitate. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. He's covered by eight. Shot clock at six. Hey, Crowder pulls it in. Quick start for the Suns in this one. There's the triple. Another three for Phoenix. Remarkable confidence from Crowder pulling up with no hesitation. Love the separation he created. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. To end the run. The shot comes out, so Phoenix will take it the other way. Boy, that's 0 for 3 in the early going. Just a little out of sync. Paul passes to Crowder, and he can't extend the lead to double digits. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Defended by Booker. That one goes in. And that ends the struggle. You can feel the tensions in the building with each miss. And you've got to be able to show some resiliency, right? Keep pounding away, and it finally falls for you. Now, here's Aiton. Wants to get it to Booker and does. It's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I had a chance to talk with the head coach for the visiting team. One challenge that he, like all coaches mentioned, is dealing with the sharp mentality of Chris Paul. Coach said, when you play against Chris, you need to be focused at the highest level. He knows every detail and situation. And if you aren't matching him in that, then you're fighting an uphill battle. Chris Paul has truly been a student of the game for a long time. Guys? Thank you, David. Now, here's Thompson following the shot by Chris Paul. Thompson against Bridges. And the rejection by Aiton. Boy, Aiton's reach is absolutely incredible. Great anticipation. That is nice defense. Bridges outside. Outside Crowder. There's the dish to Booker. From the baseline. Can't get it to fall, and he's missed the second after making his first. Three on three. Thompson outside. The pass to Aguilar. Defended by Crowder. Kept alive. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Here's the break. They get it back. Tries again. Bridges with the steal. Launches it. 
And Jay Crowder hits the three. Crowder's got nine. Crowder's gotten all of his threes to drop for him. Three for three. Crowder pulls it in. Phoenix leading by five. On the wing, Booker. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. Well, just an intelligent move by Booker, right? If you've got to get to the mid-range game to open up other aspects, do it. And it's good. Two points. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now here's Booker, and it's Phoenix scoring again. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Here's Thompson. No good that time. Paul with the defensive effort. And so it's Paul bringing it up for Phoenix. They lead by seven. Crowder kicks to Bridges. Count the basket. Well, you love Crowder's willingness to distribute the basketball. His vision allows him to set his teammates beautifully. There's the drive, and the shot goes in. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Booker with it. He's got six. Here's Hayton. His first shot is a miss. 0 for 1 to start the contest. Thompson outside. Over Paul. That one wide left. Phoenix leading by seven. Booker the pass to Bridges. And that one is good. Bridges got his second bucket of the game to go. Boy, you have to be aggressive powering through contact. Mikel Bridges, no signs of backing away. Defended by Crowder. From the stripe. Rebound by the Suns. Aiton's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Now here's Paul. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Oh. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. And he finishes nicely on the layup. He has six. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot. Hot. Ball's knocked loose. Hooker the pass to Paul. Here's Hayton. Got a hand on it. Defended by Booker. It's hauled in by the Suns. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Well, Devin Booker shiftiness gets himself into the paint so aggressive and it pays off. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Phoenix. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. I think the other thing they've had going for them is their passing. Plenty of their baskets have come off assists. Free throw, good Booker. One of the most impressive things about Devin Booker has been his consistency. This guy is productive, and he is willing to carry the offensive burden. Both free throws good from Booker. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Knocked away. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Bridget. He's 
covered by Aiton. Pass to Thompson. That's all you. Clarkson on the wing for three. Mikel Bridges doesn't take a possession off. You love his willingness to harass the offensive player. So disciplined, so tough. Passes it to Paul. Off target at the rim. Paul's gone one of three on the night. Some tough Two offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Well, the one thing about Clarkson, a little bit inconsistent from deep, so that's a welcome sight for his team. Now here's Paul. That's at five from 18. A nice shot by Booker. Ten points for Devin Booker. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. Deep two from Clarkson. Crowder pulls it in. Crowder's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Dishes it to Paul to the inside. Ayton, and the shot goes in. And now it's a 12-point Suns lead. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. Now, here's Clarkson. Shims over Bridges. Shots good by Clarkson. Clarkson's got five. Well, Jordan Clarkson specializes at capitalizing on what the defense gives him. Nicely done in the mid-range. Eaton at the elbow. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got three assists in the game. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has Jordan attacked Clarkson. every chance they've gotten. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. A shot by Paul. Nobody around. Off target from outside. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Thompson. He's just scored his first basket with that shot, making him one for four. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. All against Thompson. Here's Paul. One second left. And the quarter ends with some stifling defense right there. And so it's the Phoenix Suns. In the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And we'll be right back after this. so far halfway through the first half in this one and from what we've seen guys from Phoenix what do you guys see just stretching out the floor that first uh, they had the defense scrambling and that was obviously the plan coming in now the big question can they maintain that efficiency from range as the game goes along here's Clarkson on the wing Thompson Clarkson on the wing, defended by Booker. Clarkson bounce pass. And that one drops for him. Boy, that's the type of shot they'd like to get on every single possession. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for Phoenix. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Johnson, the pass to Ayton. And Ayton gets double team. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so here's Phoenix. Charge dishes the ball. Lock at six. Into the lane. And he lays it straight in. And the Suns lead by eight. Uh, how about the ability to knife inside the defense? Chris Paul has been outstanding as a dribble driver his entire career. 
Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the three-point shot of Mikel Bridges seemed to abandon him early in his NBA career. Coach Monty Williams said he developed a hitch on his release. But Bridges got in the lab with the coaching staff, changing his shot midway through foul. season two. Number 15. The results speak that's for themselves. Guys, he had foul. a career year shooting, that's for sure. I admire his work ethic. D.A., thank you. DA First trip to the line for him here. Taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. I tell you, this guy already a double-double threat nightly. And DeAndre Ayton's ceiling is still high. Now he's got to go ahead and reach those expectations by putting in the work. Ayton hits them both. second quarter and we're just over a minute in. Pass to Clarkson. And stolen by Booker. Oh, Aiton in position. That shot off. And the timing just not there on that attempted alley-oop. Just a missed connection, Number and it 16. happens. I'm sure they will the go assist. back to it if given Number the opportunity. 13. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. On the wing, Booker. He's covered by Clarkson. Now here's Paul. To the middle. And it's Aiton missing. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. He's covered by Aiton. Some solid defense from Aiton. Phoenix leading by eight. Now Booker, 10 points for him. Paul, right side, and Sharich kicks to Booker. Johnson, the pass to Aiton. Six on the shot clock. Near the three-point line, it's Booker. Nice jump shot. Good. Booker's got 12. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. And here are the Suns now. It's a 10-point game. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by, here's Paul. Second chance effort. His fifth miss. Out two for seven from the floor. Defended by Paul. And the shot is long. Suns leading by ten. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. A nice shot by Booker. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Down low. He's it up and in off the pretty assist. And he found the soft spot in the D on that possession. And Phoenix has possession. Only giving up six here in this quarter. Sharks in the high post. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. With the drive.
inside. Clarkson outside. From deep three-point range, Sharks grabs the board. And so it's Paul bringing it up for Phoenix. He kicks it to Johnson. And it's off from three-point range. Here's Clarkson, and a strong finish with two hands. Wow, big-time move by Jordan Clarkson. The defense forced to adjust. That's an incredible drive. Booker draws the double. He dishes it to Sharks, and there's the feed to Ayton. And Ayton throws it down. Oh, taking it to the rack with power, hammering down the two-hand slam. Charge against Clarkson. To the paint. He can't get that one. Some solid defense from Aiton. Phoenix leading by 10. Ball outside. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And the Suns making a change here. Ames checked in. Clarkson against Booker. Let's it go from deep. That shot is off. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Takes it inside. It's blocked. He's guarded by Johnson. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the away team, number 32, two shots. First free throw is good. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for Johnson. That's good as he hits both of his shots. Phoenix leading by eight. Booker left side. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Second team. Well, there's an activity level and a skill level that makes Devin Booker problematic on the offensive end. He dares defenders to get physical with him. The Suns have looked good at the line tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. First one falls for him. Both free throws good from Booker. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Charge against Clarkson. Floats one, and the layup is good. Jordan Clarkson. Clarkson's got 11. Well, very difficult to guard the floater. Jordan Clarkson, nicely done. Here's Booker, driving inside. 
That's his fifth miss of the game. He has made six of his 11 shots. Clarkson with the ball. Working on Payne. Suns leading by eight. Down low. Here's Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. And he's now got the double-double. Ten points and ten rebounds. Aiton uses his length to his advantage. No doubt on the dunk. The pass to Clarkson. Six to shoot. Shoots the three. Offensive rebound. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Charge outside. Here's Craig. No good from outside. He's covered by Aiton. And that one, good. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. They've held a 12-point lead early. Shoots over Clarkson. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Booker's got eight points here in this quarter. Booker against Clarkson. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Charge has got four rebounds now tonight. And he drives in. Aiton trying to break free. Nice work to get it inside. And draw the contact. Third team foul. It's his first trip to the line. And going back to his numbers from just a season ago, he was knocking it down at a 77% clip. First free throw is good. Crowder is checked in for Phoenix. All free throws good from Gray. Here's Thompson. 151 left here in the second. Five on the clock. Pass to Aguilar. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Oh, that's a pretty bounce pass. Nice. Suns leading by eight. And here's Booker. 18 points for him. Sinks the 15-footer. Booker's got 20. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Pass to Thompson. 58 seconds left to play here in the half. Rejected by Crowder. Well, Crowder known for his defense, and you love to see him get high for these rejections. Pass to Payne from deep. And they'll get another chance. Ayton kicks to Booker. And the Suns take on two more. It has not mattered one bit what the defense has sent to Devin Booker tonight. He is cooking. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And there's the pass to Aguilar. 
20 seconds left in the first half. Some solid defense from Aiton. Crowder dishes to Payne. Crowder the pass to Payne. Crowder kicks to Payne. And here's Booker from the arc. Buries it from three-point range. He's got 25. In this situation, Devin Booker on the catch will never hesitate. And so it's Devin Booker making highlights for the Phoenix Suns. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back. The first half mercifully coming to a close. I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny's here. Shaq is here. Devin Booker putting in some incredible work. He had 25 points, two assists, and three rebounds. We were talking about him after his last game, and now tonight we're seeing that same level of intensity. Kenny, let's start with you. What did you think about the Suns? There was no shortage of dimes on this team. Numerous guys displayed good court vision, moved the ball, led to great shot. They had full control of this game. And Shaq, let's get your input on the visiting team. They're getting abused in the paint defense. Letting their opponents set the tone. You can't match up physically, you're toast. That's what the scoreboard is reflecting right now. Toast with butter. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You know, guys, Devin Booker has been exceptional here. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. Our second half of basketball, and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. I'm Phoenix, looking who they've got on the floor. Aiton is the pivot, and Crowder slides in at the four. The star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. And it's Bridges in at the small forward position. Now here's Booker. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. And he comes up with the deuce. Aiton's got it going here in the start of the second half. The first points in the third quarter for the Suns. Pass to Thompson. Out to the right wing. Four on the shot clock. No good. Shot missing. Bridges with some nice defense. Crowder feeling it out a bit. Booker outside. Can't connect from 14 feet out. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Yep, that one goes. Thompson's got his second basket. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible, and boy, that's a terrific start right there. And they're running. Finish Number off the 14. break. Eight points for him. And there's that transition offense. Push the ball up the floor. The defense can't get set. And you can get some easy baskets here. Now here's Booker. He's got 25. Well, trying to find themselves in the second half here. Just one for four from the field. Can someone in the group get hot? Let's see. Right wing. Here's the three. Good for another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for ten shooting. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. And it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. 
you know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. That cuts the lead to single digits. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Paul again for Thompson. This is a Dayton. Kicks to Booker. He feeds it to Crowder. And again, unable to change momentum here. All against Thompson. And the pass to Aguilar. Defended by Crowder. And with that shot, the Suns lead is cut down out. now to just six points with that basket from Aguilar. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Probably the most important thing is they regroup. They worked out some of their frustrations, and now they're starting to have some fun. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. Ladies and gentlemen, well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Ladies and gentlemen, your son, Dancer. Sun's making a change here. Johnson's checked in. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Hooker the pass to Bridges. Aiden up top. 12 points for him. Looks for Paul. Hits it to him. Shot clock at five. Hook. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got assist number five here tonight. Thompson looking for an opening. Inside. It's hauled in by the Suns. Bridges outside. Booker outside. Booker draws the double. Back to Bridges. He kicks it to Aiton. The dish to Booker. The three. No good. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. He's covered by Aiton. Rebounded by DeAndre Eaton. I'll tell you, it feels all night like this guy's been forcing shots, rushing shots. He's really struggling on the offensive end. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. They're just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? Pass to Aguilar. Over Paul. Second shot opportunity. Yep, it goes in, and the Suns' lead is cut down now to just eight points with the basket from Aguillon. And so Booker will bring it up for the Suns. To the inside, Bridges. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Bridges has got six. Well, Devin Booker known as a scorer, but this guy is able to put it on time and on target. Here he goes, and the layup's good off the glass. He has six. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. Oh, 
stolen away. Defended by Booker. Thompson against Paul. And with that shot, the Suns' lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from Thompson. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded-out game. Now here's Paul. Pass to Aiden. Back to Paul. Over Thompson. Tips it up. The always aware Chris Paul, one of the great passers in history. There's another assist. Thompson with it. He's got six. Bridges with the board. Suns leading by eight. Lays it up off the glass. Bridges got four points in the quarter. Well, we know this. Mikel Bridges has the length and hops to score inside. Nicely done. Passes to Aguilar. Here's Thompson. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Now the pass to Aiden. Kicks it to Johnson. Back to Aiden. Bridges passes to Johnson. Just five to shoot. To the middle. And Paul with the basket on the assist by Johnson. Six points for Chris Paul. And for a smaller player, Chris Paul appears so comfortable on the interior. He knows he can score from this area. Now here's Thompson. He's got eight. Again, the miss by Thompson. Booker, right side. That one's not going to go. Two minutes remaining in the third. And stolen by Aiton. Booker outside. 17-foot shot on the way. And the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. But you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. That one on Aiton. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Phoenix. They keep piling up the assists, and they haven't cooled off at all. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. Charge checked in for Phoenix. Torrey Craig comes in for Bridges. Suns leading by nine. Ball outside. Clarkson against Booker. Back to Paul. Three pointer. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And he banks in the layup. Thompson's got eight points in the quarter. Well, he had trouble making shots in the first period, but rounding into himself here in the second. Now here's Paul. Defense right on him. Can't hit from 12. Craig defending with the fadeaway. That's good by Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson. Well, Jordan Clarkson, a nice, efficient look there. Boy, that'll help your percentages. Booker looking around. Ask the ball. Down low. Charge, that's good. Charge has got his first points of the night. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. to the paint. Score the bucket. He's made five so far. Shooting a very clean five of seven. 
give credit where credit is due right there. A terrific assist. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Booker. A wide open look here for Craig. They grab their own miss. Here's Thompson. Ten points for him. Shot from 12. A rebound by Johnson. Now here's Craig. Can't get it to fall. And we've watched three so far in this one. Suns ahead, up by five. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Lock at six. Crowder finds Craig. Good on the triple. Craig's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Suns. Now Clarkson. From past the arc. Rebound by the Suns. Crowder's got six rebounds in the game. Booker with no one around. Another three for Phoenix. Good look there. And he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. To Clarkson. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. And so Booker will bring it up for the Sun. 17 points was their biggest margin. And it's Paul missing. Craig defending to the inside. Thompson. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. Inside, here's Sharch. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Booker's got his fourth assist in this one. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Now, here's Clarkson. Driving in, and he takes that one up and powers it through. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. And a nice job taking what the defenders gave him, but these guys need a gut check right now. Well, simply stated, simply not enough effort, not enough attention to detail. They've gotten run over this evening. To the wing on the left. Left side, Sharich. Crowder finds Paul. On the wing, Booker. Takes the three. And the three ball is good. Booker's got 39. Challenging this day with the three ball. That's his second from distance this half. And he also hit one in the first half, too. Defended by Crowder. No good on that one. So Phoenix will take it the other way. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. He kicks it to Sharch. Shoots over Clarkson. The shot by Sharch. No good. Thompson outside to the hoop. That shot, no good. 
Good work defensively by Crowder. And here's Booker from the arc. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got nine assists now tonight. What kind of like what Devin Booker is doing in this one. Well, I think this is a necessary timeout so they can figure out a way to limit the impact this guy's having from three-point range. They've got to dedicate more resources to their... Bridges ejected for Torrey Craig. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, during the break, I was able to catch the message the visiting team coach gave to his team. He said, do you want this game? Don't tell me about it. Show me and show your teammates. We've got to play better, and we've got to play harder if we're going to come back. Guys. Thanks, David. Phoenix leading by 13. And here's Booker. In the corner, it's Bridges. Another three for Phoenix. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up. Oh. Oh. And I got to say, sort of surprising. He goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm. but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Charge passes to Crowder. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Ball again. It's Thompson. Clarkson for three. It's good from long range. Clarkson. Well, you've got to be able to be locked and loaded when an opportunity comes to make a shot. And Jordan Clarkson, yeah, he's pretty good at that. Here's Paul. And he converts the layup. And the Suns lead by 13. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. And he's good on the three ball. Three point field Something's ball. brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Hook around side. Back to Paul. It's deflected. The shot. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. Andre checked in for the Suns. Here's Booker. It's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain Phoenix possession. Away team foul. Number 32. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. Aiton with it. Shot clock at six. And the wide open shot from Crowder. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. Boy, the three-point arc has been a major factor in what they've done here tonight. You love the aggressiveness. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. At the line for the away team, number 15. At the line for one.
Here's Booker. It's an eight-point differential. Bridges outside. Passes it to Crowder. Here's the pass to Booker. Four on the clock, and it's a defensive three-second violation. Softball. At the line for your sons, Mikhail Bridges. At the line for one. And so he hits the technical free throw. After winning two championships in college at Villanova before turning pro, I think Mikhail Bridges has the next championship in sight. That's an NBA title. And now, let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game. Devin Booker. Hey guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. Here's Bridges. Defense is right there. Ball outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Hayton. It's deflected. Defended by Bridges. Out of bounds. Phoenix will take possession. Football. Suns lead by nine. Outside Crowder. Over Aguilar. That one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Crowder. Oh, team ball. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Thompson against Paul. Over to the left wing. Aguilar. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his seventh assist here tonight. Yeah, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Here's Booker. Nice, then off the left rim and in. Booker's got 44. Well, they're just riding a hot hand down the stretch, and he's been in a zone all night. And count it, the shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. And I tell you what, they're doing their best to cut down the lead with some smart offense here in the second half. Shot selection much improved since the break. That free throw good from Thompson. The Suns leading. Ball outside. Aiton in the high post. To the paint. Here's Crowder. Back to Aiton. And Phoenix with another turnover here. Away team ball. Thompson against Paul. Goes up from the top of the key. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. Uh, and that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. A nice shot by Booker. Yeah, it's one thing to know your team counts on you to deliver big buckets. It's another to take that responsibility and run with it. Go ahead, Mr. Two minutes Booker. Remaining in the game. Two minutes. Defended by Bridges. Hits the three-point bomb. Three Such a clutch goal. shooter. This guy lives for these kinds of moments and delivers. And so it's Paul bringing it up for Phoenix. 17 points was their biggest margin. A one shot on the way. Good D by Thompson. Over Booker. Thompson with the bucket. Thompson's got nine points in the quarter. And you talk about fighting your way back into a game. They've shown a lot of grit in this comeback. Yeah, to start off 
after so many mistakes and still now find a way where everything's working, it allows their momentum and confidence to continue to build. On 15 left in the fourth quarter. Thompson against Paul. Booker in the corner. Wide open. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Booker's got 48. Well, he can hit big shots. Booker's about as confident a young man as we've seen when the pressure's on. Thompson against Paul. Out to the wing. It's full. A huge shot to tie it up. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. Phoenix calls timeout. Fifty-two seconds left in the game. Kicks it to Bridges. Back the ball. In the corner, Crowder with it. It's good. Listen, we know work ethic is tremendous. So in these opportunities, he's ready. Pass to Aguilar to take the lead. Nails the trade! And now this game's taken on a whole new feel since halftime. What energy we're seeing. Something has lit a fire under both of these teams. Ball against Thompson. Looking to get it going. Yes! That's a statement from Chris Paul. He understands game is in the balance. It's my time. Now, here's Thompson. Over Paul. Good! Timeout, timeout. And they've got a foul to give here if they need it. Timeout called the Suns. They trailed by one. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Right. What do you think, guys? Yeah, you know, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. What you want is to create a clean, high percentage look, if that's at all possible. In the corner, it's Bridges. Right between the eyes! got to be aware and stay attached to Mikel Bridges beyond that arc. This guy's dangerous as a shooter. Guys, your thoughts? I don't think they should be greedy here and think about a triple. With this much time left, I'd attack the basket, get a high percentage shot in tight, and take my chances in overtime. Thompson right side. Buzzer. Boy, it doesn't get any better than that. You couldn't dream up a more dramatic finish. Three points right as the buzzer sounds. This is a ball game people will be talking about for quite some time. And so the road team gets the W in this one. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for them. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. See you next time.